Hey guys, welcome to Arihant Online Academy. In this video, we will learn about CMM, that is Capability Maturity Model. So, let's see. CMM is abbreviated basically for Capability Maturity Model. It is developed by Software Engineering Institute (SEI) in 1987 at Carnegie Mellon University, right? It is a framework which is used to analyze the approach and techniques. of the software project so any software development project would be there then to analyze that how the approaches and techniques work so over that software development so our software would work better quality should be better so for that cmm model is used now it is based on feedback and development practices right so basically it is based on feedback and development practices every time the feedback we can get from the user or customer right and the development practices will be Uh, we can do our CMM model, right? So basically, it is based on feedback and development practices. Basically, describe strategies that should followed by moving through five different levels. So there are basically five different levels of CMM model, that is capability maturity model. And by describing the several strategies over that level, we can work or we can analyze our CMM model. So let's see what are the levels. Basically, in CMM, these five levels, or you can say that they are the key P K P S, like key process areas, right? In each level, there are several K P S, and the K P S are basically they have to satisfy the conditions, right? To match the maturity model of the software, to make the to make the maturity of the software at each level, to satisfy them at each level, the K P S are given it to us, right? basically there are five levels in cmm model the first one is initial right first one is initial in this no kps are there right after initializing a project there is repeatable now in repeatable there are several kps that is pre process area project planning should be there configuration management require management and software quality assurance it is basically level 2 in project planning the team would work or plan over the project that how the project would be planned how in what stages the project will done and in how many stages modules should be there right so all the key strategies would be made in the level 2 that is in repeatable right then configuration management right that what configuration a software would be used and on which level uh, on which uh, hardware and software it would work right so basically to match hardware and software related uh, purposes the configuration management level is also done in this level then requirement management what are the requirements of the software to be developed should be done here and after that software quality assurance method would be done there right and the next level is 3 this is defined this is defined first is initial second is repeatable third is defined fourth is managed and fifth is optimized now the third level is defined the several kps are there key process area peer reviews are there so after making requirement management in this kind of kps peer reviews okay so the team management and all the development friendly uh, engineers would give reviews over the development after that intergroup coordination would be there they will give their suggestions they will make their planning over that they will discuss over the software right after that organization process definition should be there organization process definition the complete organization how they will means simply a presentation would be presented under this and uh, they will discuss over that and they will analyze that uh, how because the project is get to any organization so the reputation is attached with the project suppose if any key companies is there and project is get by that company then the organization is responsible for all the uh, feedback of the software right so organization process definition is very important there then organization process focus and training programs should be there right because for any software if you have to operate there there are so many training program first you have to train the developers after that you have to train the uh, your testers then you have to train your practical users after that you have to make a booklet and you have to also make a training to your customers and the users real practical users right so basically all these key process areas are done uh, trend uh, done under defined right after that the level 4 managed level is there in this uh, software quality management would be there and quantitative management right 
basically in software quality management the quality of the software would be preferred would be made and in software quality management uh, the developer or the team basically works to maintain the quality of the software that is assured by the user that is assured to the user at the time of srs or at the time of they will discuss they, they have discussed the project right so quantitative management is also there so they will work both on software quality management and quantitative management at level 4 now after that the final level is level 5 in level 5 is called as optimized level uh, in this several key process areas are there first is process change management suppose feedback is getting by the user or suppose several development errors so several kind of errors might be there so several after getting the reviews and after getting the feedback from the user so basically we have discussed that it is feedback based a model right so process change management would work there then technology change management suppose several new technology has come then that should also be done that should also be work on that technology right so basically this will work there and then defect prevention if any defect or error or any kind of bug will be presented then a project should have capable of solving that so this is the fifth level of maturity so after getting all this level of maturity a software product would be considered as a practical project or a practical software that should be a capable of running in the practical areas or at the uh, practical runtime process right so this is the these are the five levels of cmm and basically the levels you should have to remember that initial level would be there then repeatable then defined then managed and after that uh, optimized should be there and uh, there are total five levels right so basically these are the concept of cmm further for any kind of uh, elaboration or any kind of queries or doubt if you have you can comment to us we will try to solve your query or doubt as early as possible on our social web pages whose link is given into the description section so thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat